Hey, hello, hi, how's it going? Welcome to another Slice and Dice video. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, no win streak. Real quick, let me get into it. It's been a little annoying. So I did a stream the other day, and at the end of the stream, we decided to play a little Slicey Dicey, and I ended up losing, unfortunately, so win streak's over. I did try playing another run afterwards. I tried to record another run. It was just miserable. Uh, I, got, I got tilted. I got tilted real bad um, and probably threw a run. I did record it, but it just felt like, you know, it just wouldn't be a fun video to watch. So I scrapped it and we're starting over. Hopefully this one does not go terribly. I'm not like a big rager when it comes to games, I feel like. But like I got I got pretty tilted, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so someone mentioned in the last video, I think it was, was it Will? I forget who. But someone was like, you're a mad lad for taking Monster Pristine over like Ad Wolf or something. And I thought that was a little interesting. I guess maybe Monster Pristine. I mean, I did lose that run. Uh, did I lose that run? I think I lost that run. I don't remember now, actually. But I, I guess maybe Monster Pristine is a little bit harder of a, of a modifier than I was thinking it was. I don't know. It's kind of a weird one. I think Add Wisp is fine. I don't hate Add Wisp here. Let's go Let's go with a Wisp. Let's add a Wisp to all our fights. Hopefully, we do not eat shit and die for this. Uh, starting, starting comp is okay. It's not terrible here. Um, I think I like what I'm looking at there. Flare would be a great way for us to, to kill the, the Null, in theory. Uh, next turn, obviously. We do not have enough mana for it right now. But it shouldn't be too tough to do. Important to note that Wisp is uh, making Mage pained. So we may want... You know what we should do? We should put this here, actually, instead. Leave Brig uh, Brigand with one. We should be able to make it out of here just fine. It would be weird if we couldn't get two damage next turn between Thief and uh, uh, Brigand. Anyway. Oh, maybe it's happening. Uh, let's roll. Okay, there's our there's our our mana. Hmm. Maybe we just play this one a little safer. Do we need to take the shield here? I think that's fine. Guess we take that? I don't know. It's fine. It's We're going to live this no matter what. Thief, you fucking suck. What the hell? So you flare the null. Mage lives just fine. Put one damage here. And then I guess, you know, it wasn't as much of a given as I thought it was here that we killed the Wisp this round. But now the Wisp dies for sure. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Very good. Dabbler versus Priestess. Uh... I think that was a pretty good one here. Just solid value. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, three damage side is nicer for killing these rats in this upcoming fight. But, um, I don't know. I'll take, I'll take two mana here. We could try to roll for a flare, which would be pretty nice, all things considered. I'm down for that. Let's see if we can find the two mana. Okay, or not. Or yes. Good. Okay. So you just go, like, flare into hit here, I think. And then just... Mm. Yeah, I guess you do that. It doesn't matter too much. It does not matter too much. We want to give Mage a little bit of HP here as a buffer because of the uh, the pain coming in. Other than that, it seems like a pretty simple round. Um, oh man, I wish I had something I, I I don't have any like discussion topic prepped for today's run. I kind of I wasn't planning on streaming. Like I said before, I tried recording a video. Uh, and I was going to go play Dungeons and Dragons afterwards, but unfortunately, uh, DM canceled. Uh, not that I'm upset, like, you know, you know be, he has a perfectly valid reason. And it gives me a chance to record, so I'm actually kind of happy. That, like, happy is the wrong word. I was, I was looking forward to playing, but um, we, can, we, can, we can dig for two here, I think. I was looking forward to playing, but I'm also not super, you know, bent out of shape that we're not able to play today. It is what it is. Um... We don't need the four to heal. We can go. Or, or I guess we take the four heal. Okay. So we do this. Get rid of the pain there. Um. I think you're worth killing. Something like that, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. Oh. Here you go, Dabbler. Unfortunately, Wisp does make a bone there. Which is not great news. But, yeah, looking at this, we're not in any actual danger. 
we get an exert i'll just take the the, yeah, the man on acolyte there is pretty good two damage there okay let's see how this looks currently can't flare right now but that's fine if we just do this into this maybe we can flare the bones next turn although flare and double burst is the same effectiveness here so it doesn't really matter too much how we play it um hmm. we could just take this to be safe sure why not right we're not we're not in a rush here to get out of this fight you can play it slow you know what we should do we should put this here though because you are getting attacked by two different people that that it, 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 it we're, we're not in a rush we're not in a rush we're just we're just playing it chill um that is extremely lethal cool cool what are we looking for here character wise warden is always a pretty useful gray I want to play Glacia more. Voyax has been uh, ranting and raving about Glacia being the best tier 2 blue lately. It's not that I disagree with them, it's that I just don't have much experience playing Glacia. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta grab him more. Poultice is a pretty nice spell here. Do not hate seeing that. Um, yes, yeah, I just gotta play Glacia more. I gotta get play, play Glacia more to get a sense of how good uh, she performs. How well she performs. Um... We could try to roll for more blue here on Dabbler to just to flare down the crone. But I think we have lethal. I think it's three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can kill crone here. So I'm not super worried. We can we can roll for damage. Or oh okay, or more mana. That works. We'll just do this instead. And then we can do we can we can just kill the wisp here. I think it's worth doing. Not that the pain side really matters too much. The the brigand is uh is uh you know exhausted anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But you know whatever. We'll take this. I will roll the rest. Sure, why not at this point? Yeah, that that that's lethal. Never mind. That that is enough to get there. Boop boop. Oh, this is a tough one. I love Berserker. Herbalist is really good, too. Uh, I think I go Herbalist here. I think Herbalist is sick. I, li I like them both a lot, though. But I don't think we have great... I mean, we have... Yeah, we don't have, like, amazing healing. So it's going to be hard to, to sustain Berserker. And I just like the mana generation on Herbalist here. It poisons dice against Bramble, too. Yeah, I, I just like this in general. I think this is a pretty good pickup for us. Oh, what's our item? Poultice? Okay, we don't need to care about that too much. Ooh, Bramble goes out with the plus two poison right away. That sucks. We can cleanse here, which is nice. We'll do that, I think. We can roll better here, I imagine. Okay, good. I'll settle for this, I think. What else do we get? Okay, garbage. Hit. Hit. No reason to use any of these here. We'll just pass. That's just really unfortunate. Really unfortunate rolls from these two. And now Herbalist is getting... Oh, no. Wait, is this, is this, is, I thought this was a heavy. This is not a heavy attack. Just seven damage. Wow. That's unfortunate. Okay. Mage is pain, so we have to get either a shield or a heal to make it so that he can actually use this mana. But that's pretty good news. I think we look for shields. I think we go for damage and dabbler. And go for shields. I mean, this is what this is what this guy does. He shields, right? That's the whole point. Do this. Flare you down. We have poultice. We're losing one. We're losing one here. It's, I'm it's sorry to say. Question is, do you do you go for? I think you go mage actually, because I think brigand's a lost cause here with the poison anyway. I think we go poultice on mage. I think that's better. We win the fight from here, I think, pretty easily, but I don't know. Luckily, no one's hitting mage this round because he is pained right now. It would be very unfortunate. We're looking for... There we go. I'll take all of these, actually. We'll do this. I guess hit the wisp, start weakening him. doesn't matter too much, I don't think. 
We're in the clear though now. We're good. Alloy will shield yourself. Take that. I forgot that we did lose a lot of sides to the start of this fight, so this does kind of make sense. Put this here. Boom. Boom, and then whatever. Who cares? Rat might run here, right? Rat runs? Yeah. Get out of here, bud. Golden thread, plus one to all non-damage sides for yellow. Mm, does nothing currently. Liqueur also does nothing currently for us. Like, it adds, adds plus two max mana, and it could be useful later. I'm not sure why not, right? I, th I think this is probably worse than the average tier two so we maybe should have rerolled there but i just want to i just want to see it why not right could be cool you never know sometimes you gotta test stuff out and we're gonna put this on dabbler dabbler is a very unlikely unit to die being seven hp in the very top a lot of cleave tax attacks miss dabbler now because of that so that is good news for us Okay, Dabbler, <laughs> I, I lied. Apparently, I'm a liar. Dabbler is uh, getting railed, which is not what you want to see. Um, let me look for mana here. I think we keep this. Okay, that's good. So we have enough for Flare. Just thinking. Let's keep rolling. Okay, good. So the question is, who do you kill here? I think the answer is the war chief before the barrel. I think you do this one first. And I think we just leave it there. Unfortunately, Dabbler gets pained here too while being at pretty low health, which does suck. But uh, it looks like we're going to be fine. Not what I want there. I, I think we settle for the one. We just need to kill the barrel. We need Dabbler or Herbalist to get like a little bit more mana or damage here. I think we'll be okay or not. Maybe or not. Okay, that's actually pretty solid. So now we can... If we do this... Oh, you're. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, hold on. One moment, please. You do this first. Then you go here. My, my, I am stupid. There we go. Now we do it like this. There you go. That's the wombo. Um. We do this first, and then and then vine here. It's pretty good. I like that. We do have poultice still. Important to remember we have pulled this. Need a little bit more HP for here for whatever reason we got it. Slimelets are going off this round. What the hell? Uh, huh. I think we have lethal, but let's just roll to make sure. Let's just roll to make sure. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we do this. Boom. 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 Cool, cool, cool. Warden versus Sparky. Unbelievably easy, Warden. I'm sorry, Sparky. You are not it today. No, uh, uh Not happening. Um. Okay. Brigand is taking some hits. That is for damn sure. I want to kill the Quartz, though, pretty badly. I hate getting weakened here. I think you do it like this, right? Then you have two mana. I think we roll for something better on on Brigand here. We can do better than this. Come on, we can do better than this. Never mind. We cannot we cannot do better than this. I'm sorry. I thought we could. We could not. That was foolish of me. It's still not the end of the world. We just we just put uh, one of these here. But he is pained next turn, so he can't or he realistically can't use his uh exert side now everyone hates brigands today what the hell guess we just keep him alive here but still 
It is a teeny bit annoying. Okay, we can use it now as well. By the by the way, if you were wondering, we can afford it now. Uh, hold on. There you go. That's that's genius level plays. Lich's Tome versus Rejuvenation Wand versus two random tier two items. Uh, Rejuvenation Wand, big heals, but single use, which I don't love. Lich's Tome. Uh, also, just don't trust it. <laughs> it's weird. It's not that good. Um, I think you take the, ra the, the random tier twos. There's some pretty useful ones we could get here. And these are both kind of stinky. Wand is fine, though, but it's not that good. Just hit it. Like, I'm I'm genuinely happy with this. This is, like, pretty sick, actually. So... First thing we do here, I think, is... Take the liquor over here. And then do something like that. So now we're replacing one one mana side for two one damage cantrips. It looks pretty good to me. And then we take the sapphire... I think I think two mana is better than than uh, three damage exert. Call me crazy. Oh, you know what? Actually, in this upcoming fight, it is not better because we need overkill to get the bandit to run away. So wisp here actually being very useful, letting us letting us get the overkill. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do it with uh, bandit slate, but here we can. We do, we have the option. Okay, why is everyone killing dabbler? What the fuck is this? We take these, because this gets us within range of being able to kill the Wisp. We just need to hit an R-Exert. Please. Okay, or we can go like... Hold on. So I think if we do this, we can do something like this into this. Into Flare here, and that overkills. I guess that we do. We do it like this. Bandit runs, and then we... Just save Dabbler. That's that's pretty good. I don't hate that line. And you are very dead, sir. Cool. Brute versus Glacia. Okay, Glacia, it's your time to shine. Everyone's been singing Glacia's damn praises. I want to see it. I don't doubt it. I don't. Let me. Let me. I am not a doubter here in regards to Glacia's prowess. I just want to see it for myself. Unfortunately, we have lost our cool twin daggers play now, though. I do not like this. I guess, like, maybe you do this now, and then this is kind of worthwhile. But even that, I don't like that much. I don't know. Oh, this is kind of cool, actually. I like this. That, I think, is worth I think that's worth it here. L let's rock that. We're oftentimes just rolling herbalists as much as we can for mana sides anyway, so I think this is pretty solid. Hmm. I think we can roll these a little bit better. Okay. Let's see what we're working with right now. I mean, I think you just, like, you know, you're not going to get a better chance to chill this round. I think that's pretty good. I think you burst the wisp, because why not? And then we just chill here. I think the secret for Glacia is just knowing when to use Weaken, right? I think that's like a really big thing. Is knowing when the right time is to pop it. Mm. Okay, let's take these. Keep rolling. I like that. I do have the extended mana pool thingy here, so I think we can just wait a turn. See how next round looks. And we should be able to clean, kill Slime Queen this round. It'd be really tough not to, basically. Considering what we're currently working with. So once we kill Slime Queen, this Dabbler's not in danger anymore. Then we just kill the Slime Queen, and then we work the rest of them down here. So no need to hold the Warden Shield. We can look for damage. Take this, take this, take this. Okay. Uh, again, like I said, Dabbler's going to be safe here. So I guess out of these, 
Uh, Glazer's gonna be the most in danger, so let's go with that. We could even kill this slime or two, actually, I'm not just realizing it. I think that's worth it. Okay. So now it's a slimer and two slime lords. A pretty easy fight. We'll take these. Take this, roll the rest. Keep rolling. Okay. Put this up here. This here. You know what? Hold on. We can just once again kill the Slimer, huh? With that in mind, put this block here. Let's just wait. Okay, easy fight. Extremely easy fight. I guess I guess when your two damage spell does block six damage incoming, that's a pretty good ratio. I think that I think that's a fair statement to make. Well, let's let's actually do some killing. No, okay, fine, whatever. I didn't even want to kill anyway, Baka. Are you gonna run? I should have hurt you. So, oh, you're running anyway. Okay, good. Hmm. Add duel to the left side. I think harpoon's better. The problem with harpoon is that we don't have many sides that are worth replacing. I mean, Brigand would like a harpoon over a normal one damage pip attack, but you know, you get the idea. We'll take it here, but it's like, you know, you generally prefer this replacing an X. But that's okay. Decent arguments for this going on someone like Warden instead, actually. I actually like it better on Warden. I think a one damage side is better than a one shield side. At least for this current comp. So I think I like that more. Okay, target number one is Quartz here. I think we need to kill Quartz right away. And then Grave is target number... Oh, no, we actually we can kill Grave with, with, with Vines very easily. Never mind then. Okay. Yeah, we just we just do this. That is a fantastic opening round. Unfortunately, Glacia is getting very poisoned, but I think we'll be okay still. Maybe you call it a hunch, but I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Didn't realize Glacia also got uh. Uh, pain side, which is kind of funny. You can do better than that, though. Hold on. Or maybe not. Maybe we cannot do better than that. Hold on. Let's try to alleviate some of this pain coming in. Or poison enemy coming in. Uh... We can just kill, but we're, you're weakened, so we might as well just wait a turn. See how things are looking next round. Before we commit our one our one mana towards anything. Take these. Try again. It's pretty good. Is anyone in actual danger here? No, not really. Oh, we just win. We just win from here. Never mind. Okay, cool. Sometimes math is fun. Sinew versus soldier. This is not a sinew build, I'm sorry to say. This is barely better than our brigand. Or brigand? Brigand or brigand? I've always, I, I think it's brigand. But I always call it brigand, but I don't know. I think this is a soldier pickup here. Not that soldier's necessarily good either for us, but I think it is better. Although, again, we have the argument of uh, sinew having the X side so we can replace it with the vulnerable side. But I think I just prefer short soldier still. I think that's... Not a tough decision, but it is an interesting one to make there. Anyway. Take this, take this, take this, take this. Soldier, what do you got for us here? Shields? Okay, three damage as well. Very cool. I think the first thing we do is kill the Wisp. I think Wisp is secretly a terrorist. I think we kill the... One of, one of the imps. Like so. And then we can't kill this imp, unfortunately. Part of me wants to weaken the imp here, but I don't think it's a good plan. I don't think it's worth the poison. Like, reduction, if that makes sense. Maybe we just chill on it. Wait, save it for a more a crucial moment. Warden, Warden's doing just fine here. 
Okay, Fnatic's coming in for a pain six. This is the true strength of Glacia, I think, more than anything else, is that nine health on a blue is crazy. That is just very, very good value, for sure. Um, that was taking the day. We got to kill the imp this turn, which is kind of obvious. I think we can't. We are, we have enough mana already to kill the imp. I should clarify too. The question is, what else are we doing? I don't know the answer necessarily, but this is pretty good. Um. I think we're technically just supposed to use mana to kill the imp because we don't take any uh, retaliatory damage. And then we should kill the sniper pretty easily next round. How are we looking here? He's shooting for five? I think he's very dead. He should have ran away. Oh, well. Okay, we get... Oh, man. Oh, these are two very good items. I don't know what the right choice is. First off, gut check. We have no cleansing, so hard light is very good. That's one of the best damn items in the game, though. And we have duck with harpoon. That's just like insane value. I can't. I can't skip duck here. I'm sorry to say, it just cannot be done. We go duck. We put duck on the warden here. This warden is now insane. If we end up getting like, oh man, it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be very strong. The zombie should be fairly easy to, they're not fairly easy to kill. We need to hit the vulnerable side, but we have a much better shot at killing it now, I feel like. Herbalist is taking a lot of damage, actually. Let's save Herbalist first. Okay. Guess we growth here. We definitely weaken the zombie this round for sure. And then we want to spend mana while Banshee's uh, on cooldown, if that makes sense right now. Because right, right now, Banshee only triggers once per turn. So we want to use this chance to cast spells if, you know, I, I think it's worthwhile to do so. Soldier has the ability to kill Zombie in a single hit, which is certainly useful. But Banshee, as you can see here, much bigger threat. Much more important to kill as, as it stands. Um, I mean, killing Banshee just saves us already, so we don't need the defense. Let me just keep rolling both these. That turned out well. Okay. Kill here. Probably put this on, like, Warden. Okay, let me put this on Warden, and then I think we, we kill the Wisp. And then that looks good. That looks good. Um, we have our Echo Warden side. Obviously not super useful yet, but not terrible. Uh, what do you do here? You just keep rolling. Just hit your four damage. That works. So we do this. This is already lethal. But if he wasn't lethal, it would have triggered the four damage lethal condition. Which would have been cool. Dabble is versus Ghast. Um, <laughs> huh. I'm not a big Ghast fan. So I think we got kind of have to go Dabble is just through the nature of it here. Um, we'll put this up again and then Sapphire has nowhere to go, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it, it just it just it just chills now. It was cool, Sapphire. You were neat while you were here, but it is what it is. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to this round, but we really need to weaken this lich. Could look for the four damager here just to get a kill on the bones. I don't hate digging a bit, and the three mana side is also pretty useful. So let's keep rolling. I'll take that. I'll take this. Okay. Echo Vulnerable is pretty cool. Something like this here. I didn't work the way I thought it would. Hold on a second. 
You do this into... I guess this, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Dabble is fucked up. That's all I do know. But oh well. Warden's taking a lot of damage incoming. Guess you can do this to prevent a little bit of it. I think that's fine. Other than that, pass the turn. Herbals, what did you lose? Like, it's like first is left and top, right? Okay, so we lost a Petrify and a Mana Gain. That's unfortunate. With, again, no cleansing, so no way to get it back, really. Uh-huh. We're just looking for all of our damage. I accept this, I accept this, I accept this. I should accept this, honestly. I think that's a pretty good thing to get here. We could, in theory, just end up out regening uh, the Lich. It's a thing that's very much in the realm of possibility to do here. Um, go something like that here, I guess. Oh, you know what we can do? Um, I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm dumb. I want to re-roll the. Oh wait, you're already we're out of re-rolls. Never mind. Okay. Um. We are gonna we are gonna weaken Lich here, I believe. Do I even heal? I don't know. Here you go, Warden. You can have the regen. You're in the center. We just we just do this, I think. I think we even hit this too to get the summon, the, 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 the bones out. Okay, this is actually, this is, this is under control. This feels safe. You can find more damage here, hopefully. Good. Okay, you kill, weaken, trigger, kill, stab. Petrify, honestly, at this point, it's too late for Petrify to matter. We are running away with this, so I do not mind this at all. Take damage. I'm looking for mana here, but... Oh, nice. We'll take that. So once again... Hit, oh, you're, you're dead. You're very dead, Lich. Never mind. Go away. Uh, Twisted Flax versus Ghost Shield. The start of each turn. Self Shield 2 versus Twisted Flax. Huh. I think Twisted Flax is better. I don't know. If we have, like, cool shield synergies, I'd be more inclined. Especially coming into this fight, though. Giving Dabble is two four damage size means we can one-shot these gnolls, which is pretty cool. I think I'm a Twisted Flax user here. I like that quite a bit. No Sapphire usage, though, still, unfortunately. I can see, you know, I can see this, too. I can see this into, into this. Right? That's not terrible, either. But I think, again, just in this specific fight, the four damage sides, I think, are a little too valuable. Um, also, we have the echo value, too, with Warden. We got a lot going for us there in that regard. Dabble is only person actually at risk of dying this turn, which is kind of interesting. I will take this. I think I'll take this, too. Oh, there's a War Chief. We should probably kill the War Chief first, huh? Good roll for Echo Vulnerable here, but I don't think it's that worth it. I do want to get one of those four damage sides still. There's only, like, two bad hits, basically. Uh, three mana is a lot, though, too. I don't know. Let's just see how this looks. Let's, let's, let's not get hasty. Let's see what happens if we do this. Right? So we go... Let's say let's say we kill the War Chief first, hypothetically, right? In In theory... Right, everyone's already living, which is pretty cool. This is maybe the way to play it. Although we could maybe look for something better for Dabblist again. I like... Oh, man. I do like weakening the snake here, too, so there's no no poison on Glacia. The problem with this as well is that Dabblist is uh, at 1 HP in his pain, but we have Vine to heal back up if we need it, and Poultice as for that matter as well. I think this is actually a pretty good line. I think we rock it this way. Although if we hit one of those four damage sides on Dabless, it's going to be pretty hard to heal up enough. We'll see how, we'll see how it plays. Echo shield side is not super useful here. I'll be the first to admit it. And we, we stick with the damage here as well. Dabblist. 
Okay, Davos might be going down swinging here, if I had to guess. We can we can do this. And Davos lives, but is it worth it is the question. I don't know the answer. I do like this. And then we can go like this. That looks pretty good to me right now. I know Warden and Davos are both at 1 HP, but the Null's going to be exhausted, so all we have to do is just kill a Null and a Snake. No one's pained. This looks pretty good. I think that works pretty well. They're just hitting their exhaust to the left and right, huh? Okay, that's cool. Oh, we're we're like not literally out of here, but we're pretty much we're pretty much Gucci. So again, that kills. I forgot that we had Echo, so this kills here. Oh, we're we're done. Okay, cool. Very neat. Witch versus sorcerer. It's tough. These are both good car uh, characters. I think we want witch though. I think I we, again we have no cleansing at all. It's only one clan side, but it's pretty cool. We have a weakened side as well with Witch. Just pretty good value no matter how we slice it here. I think, we go, I think we're, we're Witch gaming. Um, well, I don't like the prospect of losing our weakened side, though, for daggers here. That does not seem very good. This seems better, though. This I don't hate. Talked about it before, I'm pretty sure. I don't love it either, though. I don't know. Oh, this is the play. Look at that, though. Ooh, baby. <laughs> no. Um. This is not terrible either. With the two damage shield side at this point in the game is it, we're almost always going to reroll it instead. So I like the one damage cantrip over it, and then one damage cantrip versus two damage side is not huge a, a huge difference there either. Although, in this upcoming fight, it's bad because there's, there's the spiker. Spiker is really annoying. I'd rather not just run into that, you know, with, with a bunch of cantrip one damagers. So I think we chill on it for now. We'll consider it later. We'll consider it as an option for the future, for sure. Okay, a lot of damage spread out here, which is nice to see. Definitely taking this. You know what we do here? We just kill the ghost flat out. I think we roll these. Love to get a weaken on Spiker here if possible. Mm, let's just settle. Honestly, a pretty good turn. So my plan was to go boom, boost into Ghost, but now we just have the four damage side on, on Dabless here. So now we do it this way instead. And now we can do this. We'll put... Who's at most risk here? I think Warden, because you're gonna get you're gonna get pain next turn. Do it like this. We try to do our best to take the spiker down first. One of my most hated enemies in the damn game is Spiker. When I first started playing, I really liked cantrips as a mechanic, so I took a lot of characters that had cantrips. And Spiker tends to fuck that up in a major way. So I've I've gravitated away from it now, I'd say. Um Let's... Oh, Poultice is now worthless. Well, it's not worthless. It's useful if whichever dies, I suppose. It's not wor worthless. is unfair. But it is worth a lot less now than it was before. Oh, we're pretty much going to stop this, right? More or less. Put this here. Put this here. Yeah, okay, we're done. Goodbye. Metal studs versus stasis. What is metal? I've, have I ever seen this? Plus one to all shield slash self shield sides. I mean, not terrible, but not not great here either. I mean, stasis is kind of a combo with Glacia in that your your one weakened side becomes permanent. I think we just do better with a random tier seven though at this point. Maybe I'm the crazy one here, but I'm rolling. Wand of Stun. Hmm. Kind of a kind of a wamba with the twisted flax, huh?
Okay. I don't hate it. I think it's pretty useful. And uh, unlike other stun effects, it seems like it doesn't require you having more HP than the, the enemy, which is kind of cool. That's a neat little thing about it. Fun little fun little combo here. Uh the five the five uh the five pip side and then vulnerable. We could roll for something better. Like I would prefer the four damage side here, I think. But I think we just settle for this. I think that's fine. Uh so let's look at things here. We can do this first. And just kill an alpha, which is kind of cool. Then I think we can just weaken Cyclops here. That looks like a pretty good round. Maybe a slightly cleaner way to do all of that, but I don't know. I think it's fine. I wanted to kill the alphas first so they couldn't summon, but I think the way this is going, we're going to be better off just uh, killing the Cyclops now. We can definitely stun Cyclops, right? So who's in danger at that point? Pretty much no one. I think we can look for our, our Harpoon or our, one of our damage sides on board in this round. Or Shield's actually pretty good, too. I'll settle for that. Um... Guess you full heal here. And then just block here. Block there. That seems not terrible. I don't hate the position we find ourselves in. Even if Alpha does start summoning here, we have the weakened wand still and the weakened on Witch. Uh, let's keep rolling. We have the stun. I forgot about the stun as well. We can just say straight up no anyway. So that's cool. Um, okay. So... Guess we just kill the Cyclops, stun the Alpha, get a little heal in here, even though we have pain, which is kind of fun. Let the Wisp do its thing. Yeah, this is an easy, easy dub. Easy dub this round, at least. Sure, why not? I want to find the, the weakened side here on Glacia. I'm willing to keep rolling. Okay, a little we went over overkill on this, I think. You know what you could do? You could just not do it. I actually really like not using the wand here. And then just and saving it for, for later. In case it tries to roll it again. And then if it doesn't, we can just, you know, whatever. Maybe we're being a little too reserved, huh? I think I think we have lethal. Okay, hold on. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we have extreme lethal there. Veteran or ace? Maybe the easiest decision of my entire life. <laughs> that one's a little bit of a no-brainer. Now. Hmm. Don't love that. You have this as an option now, too, which does effectively not this. I mean, we can do we can do this as well for the record. We could go like this. Right? It's the same thing either way. Um, but then you have the option of like maybe doing this into this, which is bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Who do you want stunning and who do you want killing, I guess, is the question. I think this I think it's fine either way. Um and what do you got for me? I will do this. These are all items that we're not using anymore, basically. This seems acceptable to me. I mean, liquor is giving us two max mana, but that's not worth that much here. Sure. Hit me. If we can rush down Tarantus, we can save Dabbles here, which is really cool. I think we, we try. <laughs> if we get a cool Warden combo with uh, Harpoon, we can get there. Okay. Well, apparently... Warden is not long for this world. We'll take that and... 
Yeah, unfortunate we didn't get any more mana here. We do get this, though. That's really funny that that works. I think we do it. I don't know. Yeah, we just, I mean, I don't know. If we had hit the weaken or the mana here, we'd look like a genius right now, but we did not. I don't love this that much. The problem is that there's no, we'd have no real way to save Warden actually this round. It is like kind of our only line, from what I can tell. Wait, hold on, what did I do? Oh, I, I put this up here. That's what I did. Yeah, there we go. Not the worst situation. Cleanse does nothing here, unfortunately, so whatever. Here you go. Warden. Good luck, bud. Warden just... He just got chomped for 12. What are you going to do there? Grantis is making three spiders, which I, don't, which I don't love. So I think we just say, no, thank you. Go to Go to hell instead. <laughs> I think now it's just these four versus these five. I think we can win this. Dabble is being pain sided though here is very not good. That's better. Okay, let's see how this looks. So you get rid of the pain. You kill... Whichever spider, or your bones is killing our witch. Never mind. Whichever, whoever's killing the witch, we kill them. And then, that also I didn't realize killed the wisp because of, you know, cleave. Which is very cool. I think we J chill here. Yeah, we're winning this. Okay, losing one, again, not the person I thought we'd lose, but losing one versus Tarantus is usually a pretty good exchange. In the grand scheme of things. So I'm okay with that. I think we just, we're happy with the stun here. I think we just go like heal. Yeah, we're just, we're all about playing it safe today. Stun here. Pass the turn. We do not lose from this position. If we lose from this position, I don't know what happened. Something has gone horribly wrong. Okay, go away. Scorpion tail and standard. Hmm. Tail is pretty good here. I am worried about the pain. We do have decent healing at this point, though, with witch and salve. I think we go scorpion tail. Standard's obviously just decent, right? It's like, oh, just plus one to all your guys or your, all your sides and your yellow guy, right? That's pretty good. I think Scorpion Tail is very strong here with Salve. You put it on Dabblus. Dabblus becomes a monster now. And we just... And we just... Uh... With that in mind, maybe we put the, the, the Duck here. Maybe that's a little bit better. Maybe Duck on, on Glacier actually is goaded right now. Let's, let's, go, let's go do that for a round. Let's see how it feels. These Fanatics are not fucking around this round, huh? They are hitting eights. I'll take a I'll take a four damage. I think I gotta look for I think I gotta I think I gotta look for that uh that that Glacia Echo. I will take this. I'll roll these two. Okay, that's good news. I think you do that. I think you salve up Warden here a bit. And then you probably just burst down this Wisp because he's a bastard. And then you probably chill this Wisp because also bastard. So no summons getting in. The Fanatics have really hampered them themselves quite a bit here too. Um, Dabbles can't even die next turn too because of Determination, which is nice. He's got that going for him as well. I 
Okay. We can we can do some stuff here. Hold on. Let's just see how this looks first. The veteran veterans taking a lot of incoming damage. Let's be let's be frank about that. Not not the healthiest looking currently. I think no matter how we slice this, we're gonna want to reroll for the uh, the echo side here on Glacia. I think we like we use the witch pain side onto onto Glacia to get rid of Glacia's pain. Then we pop the mana and then we go from there. Beyond that, I don't know what else we do. Um, but we're pretty close to living actually. I think we need to kill one of these fanatics preemptively, so veteran doesn't die. Other than that, though, it looks pretty good. I think I think this is the only thing we're rolling right now. We're looking for the duck side. It is not duck. It is not duck. Okay, now we're in a world of pain. I think you do that. I think you do that. This doesn't really do anything. Unfortunately, but it does. We stay alive this way and the fanatics are basically dead. More or less, but we are unhealthy. We are unhealthy with a lot of pain coming in next turn and no mana. I think this is an important lesson for me that I, I struggle to learn sometimes. I think we let veteran die here. I think veteran... I think trying to keep everyone alive here is a lost cause. And I think we have to, uh, you know, there's some acceptable losses here, basically. Is generally where I'm at right now. I think we do this. Let's say let me do this first. We hit. I guess we hit. Here. Mm -hmm. I think we do that first, technically. Then we go up here with this. And then we salve you and we salve you right and then we go along the lines of of this and this i think that's okay the fanatics are almost dead finally but i think we let veteran go just because we can say veteran does not mean we should necessarily say veteran here We are so fucking pained out, dude. But I think we're making it through this because we go, which is not pained. So we go like this. You're no longer pained. We get eight trillion mana. We can salve everyone back into existence again. We can start working some of these guys down. Let the fanatics just crash into into you know into us. It doesn't save witch here. Hold on. We can... You just do that. That's fine. Okay. I think this is a winning position. Only two units are, are pain next turn anyway. And we have two mana left over as well. And Glacia got uh, preemptively uh, de-pained as well this turn. Because of the cleanse. The only one unit's pain is Warden. Warden's our least important unit on the board right now. I think this is pretty good. I will take this. I will take this. I think we take this as well. I think we do something along the lines of... Like, salve, salve, boost, and, like, block here, pop this... <laughs> Okay, we need to kill the wisps. I've decided wisps, wisps cringe. I'm sick of them doing this shit. Although we have to not kill this wisp, I guess, because it's it's. Oh, hold on. Never mind. We we do this. Ah, oh, goddamn! That doesn't actually save the warden though. 
Maybe we go like this and then this. Whatever, fuck me. Fuck you and fuck me. How about that, bud? Hmm. Sure. Sure. Back to being pained again. Unfortunate. Echo Echo Glacia has been like kind of saving us, I feel like. Kind of like the most goaded decision I made on this run, I feel like. Was making the switch up on that. Okay, let's see how this looks currently. Don't we should do this probably first. Before we heal anyone, let's see what we can do as far as damage is concerned. So Dabbles can just save himself here, which I don't hate. But we could do this. And then... Burst. Burst. Look at that. And then we just hit the Wisp. No summons. Glacier's is the only pain unit. We're fine. It was a grind. It was a grind, but we got there. We figured it out. Okay. We're finally free. Veteran, glad to have you back. Paladin versus Wizard. I think I want I think I want Paladin here. I think we could use the extra healing, honestly, given the given the Dabblist uh Scorpion Tail side. Extra cleanse looks pretty good too. Just big big sides in general to to pump up the Glacia is pretty cool here. Wizard's Wizard's fine, but doesn't do anything crazy for us. Yeah, let's do this. Paladin also holds the harpoon pretty nicely too, which is good. Um, sure. Let's play it like this. I think we handle trolls pretty well in general as well. I think that's good news for us overall. I want a bigger mana side, I think, on the Glacia. I want I want my ducky? No? Okay, rude. Okay, we need to save Paladin here. Who's the best target for saving Paladin? Probably this fucker. If I had to guess, I'd say almost certainly him. Would like to kill the Wisp here too, so there's no summons coming down. But then we just we just spend the money there. I think we can out, we can, the Fnatic will kill himself and we can out heal the troll damage output here. Assuming they don't put like a million poison on us. I think we'll be okay. I will take, I think all of these, except for maybe not you and not you. So three of these. Put this here, heal here. Um... Do a little stabbing. The one you want to like really chill real badly here, I guess, like this is fine. Oh, which is which is we have we have the burst witch because it's the fanatic killing you. Okay, that's fine. And then we chill. Pretty cool. We have a salve in the bank if we need it. Yeah, we're we're this is this is like the perfect fight for us. This is a fight that like tries to out sustain you, but we out sustain it by like a, a wide margin. Probably. <laughs> um. Oh, definitely give me that. Absolutely. Put this here. Get some mana back. Put this like here, probably. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just get back up to full, huh? Wouldn't that be pleasant? Uh, can we kill the troll? Hold on a second. That's a better use of our resources, I think, too. Okay, it's a troll versus our entire stacked team. I think I think we win this. We'll take you. I will take you. I will take you. That's all pretty good to me. There you go. Goblet of Life versus Chaos Wand. I think I go Goblet of Life here. I think 
I think putting this on like Glacia here is like really sick with it. Turns Glacia into like an all star support character, even though she already is one. I think that's pretty cool. Chaos Wand is fine. Has like 18 trillion keywords on it, but I'd rather just not worry about it. Stasis would have been pretty good here though, huh? We have the stun one and the chaos one. They go in the same spot, so it doesn't really work, but it would have been neat. And also, we can't have three items. You get the idea. Okay. We got some zombies. We should be pretty good at killing zombies here, I feel like. Not too concerned about that. Just like that. Boom. Bingo, bango. Well, I'd love to see a four damage side here for veterans so we can kill the other zombie. But we shouldn't necessarily expect it. I'll roll. Ooh, look at that. Let's see how this looks currently. So you go boom. You go boom. You go boom. Boom. You probably just stop the wisp from summoning here more than anything. And then you just like, like a cleave shield. Yeah, that looks... That's... Listen, Goblet of Life is sick. <laughs> Wiz does heal the Wisp here. I didn't realize, which is kind of funny. Glad we didn't we just hit the Spiker for no reason then, I guess. Um, uh, maybe we look for a... Uh, we, we, we don't take the mana here. We don't need it. We'll take that, though, I think. I'll take this to trigger the uh, the Echo. Apparently, we did not need that either. Whatever, though. Um, put this here. Five mana. We just we just kill the spiker here, right? And then, I mean, unfortunately, we can't stop the Wiz from destroying our Dabalus, but I think that's okay. I think we survive the whiz uh, debilitation here. Whatever. We don't have literal lethal, I guess. Uh, he he runs away. He runs away. We, this is this is as far as we're concerned lethal. Just to really make sure. There you go, bud. Artificer Weaver. Uh, it's versus dragon. Maybe it's artificer here. Maybe we take artificer just to just to kill the back line. I kind of don't hate it. Eh. Although Weaver doesn't get any of the, we lose the we lose that 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 rubber duck benefit that we had before, which is really unfortunate. We don't we don't keep it on artificer. We have to move the rubber duck to someone else if we do that. Probably onto onto Paladin here. I don't hate. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we can accept that. So the question is, though, Artificer. I th I think this is going to be a pretty short fight. I think we go Artificer. We're not going to be like... If we're a little bit... I mean, we're, we're pretty defensive, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. But I think we can go offensive here. And just use Artificer to, to kill the Archer with a Storm of Blades or whatever. Kill the... I, 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 think, I think this is the way to go. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't know. Let's rock it. Let's rock it. Should be fun. We also get the... I, I don't like Artificer's charge side very much, so getting to replace it with this is pretty cool, too. Put this over here. I think this works well. We'll see how dumb I am, I suppose, in a moment. Veteran taking big damage here. I feel like I'm already proving to be a genius. I think we look for defense, though, on Paladin. Yeah, let's see how this looks currently. What's cool here is that we get to hit the call and then blades them both down. But the problem here is that veteran does die. Do these four kill dragon? I think they can get there. The shield on paladin doesn't do anything though, so we should roll for something different. Maybe we get the mana side here. We get cleanse, huh? Now that changes things, huh? Because now we 
We can save. We can save Paladin, but then we we, we don't kill the call. But that's not the end of the world. If we don't kill call. It's not like a huge deal. I think we save veteran. Specifically, doing it this way. I think that's acceptable. Okay. We really need Paladin to hit like a big vulnerable turn here. It's very important that we do that sometime soon. Um, Artifer just hitting the, the suck here is not terrible. But it's not like amazing either. Huh. I think we got to roll for the weekend as well on which... That's good here. Oh no, but I need I need the weaken or the vulnerable. I mean, what do I want? Oh, Artifice are getting the cleave heal would actually be really sick here. Maybe we just roll for that too. Let's see. Oh, that's good. That's all. Oh, that's incredibly good. Okay, I think this is GG actually. We just we just hit you with the weaken three. You can't do shit now. Kill you. Just start just like blasting basically. I forgot we had. I forgot Dabblus had the weak insides here that we just we just used to shut down Dragon entirely. I th I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, let's see how this looks right now because that's a lot of damage coming in. Dabblus does as long as Dabblus lives, we're kind of fine, pretty much. We can roll better on Artificer though. I think. Two Artificer can give us here. Prefer that next turn, I think. Or not. Okay. Just rude. We should use this on someone, actually. We should use this on Veteran. Okay. Okay, we got another, another Fart Cloud coming in. Take the cleanse here in case, worst case scenario, we, we whiff on the weekend. Um, I will take these, I think. Okay, let's let's not whiff on the weekend here, please. Okay, well. Sometimes that is how the game goes, huh? It's fine for now, but we are very poisoned. However, dragon's at 15 health. All we need is for Paladin to hit the harpoon, and we do just win from here, pretty much. I'm down to stun, I think. Stun's looking pretty good here. You can cleanse away, but I'm looking again, I'm looking for that harpoon. That probably just is lethal anyway. I think we're technically short. See if we do this. We're one short. Okay. Dragon, you can head out of here, bud. <laughs> Don't worry. Have a good one. And there you go. Not a not a bad run. Pretty cool. Generally, like generally, the runs I play tend to be more offense focused, but this one had a lot of good defense, and it worked, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next video. Hopefully, good. Oh, stats, stats. Look at these stats here. Uh, yellow died twice, gray died once. Pretty good items. Unfortunate that we didn't get the scorpion tail when we really needed it, but just a good item in general, obviously. Uh, goblet of life when you hit it is insane, but it is only one side of your dice, so you shouldn't, you know. Obviously, you shouldn't make your entire game plan revolve around uh, one uh, square on your dice for one of your characters, which is why things like Duck are so good, because they can be applied to two different ones. Same with, like, Dolphin, where it applies to every uh, block. When you have when you have plans that revolve around things like Dolphin, that is usually pretty reliable, but uh, this less so. And it was, it, it was fun to go to Termination uh, Scorpion Tail. Um, that, was, that was a fun little thing for the Tarantus fight, for sure. Uh, anyway... I will see you next time. Goodbye.